Hello my friend, let's add plier into our game. Yes, let's start from something interesting, not so, so from something what is boring. So in order to do it, we need to expand our game. In order to expand it, we're gonna expand it with new nodes. The same happens to trees, right? You've got a root, that's why it's called the root node, right? And you attach to this root when it grows to the tree, what many nodes, which are the branches, right, of the tree. So this is like one branch, second branch, third branch, right? And we want to add here a plier to this particular game. And in order to do it, we're gonna add a branch, which is a node, it's just another name, node, branch. And in order to do it, we're gonna hit the plus button or we're gonna hit the control plus a shortcut. And here we can search for things that we can add to our game. When you search for 2D, you're gonna filter out the things that are you are not interested in, so to, from 3D things, for example. And now all the things that you can see here, you do not need to memorize. You're gonna get used to them when you start using them. And in our case, we need some kind of body. We've got, well, this body, this, 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 and to be honest, all of them are very useful for particular reasons because they have some kind of specifics, some kind of things that were written by Godot engine, you know, creators that will help you achieve what you want. And in case if you want the physics body that is specialized for characters moved by script, so hey, this is probably for player, right? You have got here moving player <laughs> as an icon. Then we're gonna choose this one. When you should choose, uh, choose others, well, you're gonna need it. And I will show you it only if we need it, okay? Because this is stupid to, you know, uh, start memorizing like in some courses. Uh, okay, so I need this when this, this when this. But hey, you haven't even seen one particular example. How do you even know when you should choose what. So this is a node that we're gonna create. And this thing is specialized in movement. And as you can see, we have got our character body here that is not visible. So we don't have it. <laughs> when we run the, our program, we have got only icons here, right? And we don't have our character, but hey, there is body, there should be body here. <laughs> well, but we are the people who should define what kind of body this character has. And this is now very important. We need to add an image of our character. Notice that all these icons here are kind, some kind of image, right? So we could probably choose this as our character, for example, but uh, we're gonna use the assets that we've downloaded before, right? But the thing that I want you to notice is that when you choose any of the node, here we have got something like inspector and this thing inspects and says controls what really is the node about so the thing that we have just chosen right what kind of branch is that what kind of the con uh, component we've got here right and here as you can see it says sprite 2d sprite is just another name for visual elements okay so this kind of node stores what visual elements, but the one that are not, uh, you know, animated. We want animated sprite. So when we choose our character body, we want to attach to this particular character, okay, to this guy, not to our game, but to this guy, another child node. So something that is like, uh, you know, below this character body. And we are gonna use here something what is called sprite. By this time, it's gonna be animated. And now when we create it, this is going to be like attached to this, okay? Because we want to connect this to this. We don't want to have it separated, right? This is, you know, very similar like a folder, right? Okay, so this is a player that has got what? Image like this is going to have sound like this, blah, 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 blah. So we're going to attach all the things that are connected to this node with particular node of player here, right? Anything that is connected to player is going to be attached to this kind of node. And notice that this is our root node, right? Root of our, uh, our game. And below it, we've got childs, right? Children. This is child for this parent, child for this parent, child for this parent, child for this parent, but 
this child is a parent for this guy okay so uh, well so this is like a grandfather for <laughs> for for this guy but it's like a tree that's why it's called root root is expanding right to branches nodes mm -hmm -hmm. okay so we've got another branch and this branch has another branches right that's why it's called like this that's how you can memorize why these things are called so and now we've got our character body here but it still doesn't have the sprite that i said so it doesn't have the image how do we add it here we've got here inspector as i said it can inspect and change the properties so the things that describes this kind of node and this kind of node has got specialized properties like for example sprite frames okay so it allows you to add using the sprite frames when i hit it again uh, the animation and as you can see at the bottom here now we've got animations panel and we can attach to it using this button here add frames from sprite sheet our from our asset our warrior and when i hit it as you can see we've got here vertical horizontal lines but they are like crossing our mm, guys and this is bad we need to move it here as you can see we need to change it so we need to mm, I, I, most time i'm just you know clicking here and trying to find out what kind of lanes should be used in this this particular sheet that i've just attacked okay so as we can see oh it's six by eight right now i am not uh, you know deleting anything from all these characters when i do something like that uh, okay i deleted here the <laughs> mm, uh, the sword right so okay it's six by eight and now I need to choose the animation I want to attach. So I want to attach the idle animation when the knight is br briefing, right? He's doing like, <sighs> okay, it's just standing, right? Here I would attach if he was moving, here I'm gonna attach if he's attacking. But now I'm just focusing on one particular animation and I'm choosing the frames that should be repeated. Okay, let's attach it. Wow, we've got our knight here now and we can play the animation okay so that looks pretty cool right we can make it even better right now it says that it goes five frames per second so one two three four five okay so it's gonna do this part of animation in one second but we can make it go faster now it hey that looks better doesn't it okay now when we run our game we've got our character here but he's not moving what's wrong it's because our animation is on the loop animation so when it finishes this animation it's what gonna start again but only in this place if you want to auto play on load you need to choose this thing here now it's gonna work properly as you can see now we've just added player that is just standing there and he is just waiting for action that we're gonna give him in next lectures here we're gonna change the label from default to idle to make sure we, you know, organize things in our uh, project. Idle says that, hey, this is just standing, this is our animation, and we've got our character now with animated sprite. This is not finished because we need to attach a way of, you know, movement, and we need to also add something what is called collision but we're gonna talk about things like that in future lectures if you have any questions as always feel free to ask and really i i, I just can't say it you know you must now before going to the next lecture do everything i did manually i did lots of things clicking and so on right you need to do it manually to make sure your brain uh, you know says okay so this was important you so this is your exercise do everything i did you can attach another warrior it doesn't need to be red you can attach whatever you want right maybe you want to attach uh, a troop that is archer okay doesn't matter that just attach him i want you to attach a character body here with the animated sprite not the simple one like this that's only the lesson thank you very much